Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShark.com and ElectronicLessons.com. I haven't fully integrated this kit yet, but expect an assembly video in the next few days. Of course, this is another DIY electronics kit. It is a PIR passive infrared sensor uh, motion detector kit. And it's just got a little PIR sensor with a Fresnel cap that you pop into the board. You've got your opera, your operational amplifier system, your uh, microcontroller, buzzer, and you've even got a, a 5 volt output, ground, and signal out. So you can uh, use it to interface, interface with the other projects if you want. Um, what happens is, as soon as I turn it on, which I'll do right now, uh, as soon as I press the button, the program button, the cell button, or S1, what happens is it does a countdown so I can leave the room and it won't false trigger. Now, passive infrared sensors, I'm not a huge fan of them typically because I find that the output swing isn't ex sensitive enough and it's a, it's a very funky sensor to work with. But it's neat because even in the dark it'll pick you up because it's not picking up uh, movement per se, it's picking up the infrared signals coming off your body, even in an animal's body. So, I'll press the button and after about 15 seconds or so, a little the uh, the buzzer will emit a little beep saying, "Okay, we're active, we're ready to go." And as soon as it detects something with it, something uh, out of its window, there's a voltage window, meaning if if it exceeds that voltage window, positive or negative, the alarm will sound. The alarm is simply 10 beeps, and then it starts scanning again. Because if it's if some you say your cat walks into the room, you know, gets nosy, sets it off you're not going to want that to be going on all day. So it's just a, a warning. Anything in the house, your uh, your kid opens your liquor cabinet, these 10 beeps, you're going to hear it. Anyway, let me give you a demonstration. I powered it up. I'm going to press the uh, the button. After that, about 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds are going to elapse, and you're going to hear a beep. And after we hear that beep, it's scanning and waiting for someone to breach the sensor. <coughs> so let's do it. As soon as you hear that beep, I'm going to come in and breach the sensor. We're going to get 10 alarm beeps. Just enough to let someone know that you've breached that, that someone's in the room. It's detected something. Okay, I'm going to come in the room now. Hello, Mr. Sensor. So I'm going to move back again. After 10 seconds or so, 10, 15 seconds or so, what it does is it goes to that wait state again. Uh, so that the output becomes stable. It gives it time to become stable again. So we're going to hear that beep. Walking back again. Awesome. So what's going to happen is this is going to keep detecting me. So I'm going to shut it off. But that's it. I've got a little bit of work to do. I have to uh, make an assembly video. I'll be providing the schematic for you guys at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. But it is a fun sensor. It's a fun kit to put together. One of the more advanced kits. That's not saying much, but you know, I mean, the uh, this one has has quite a quite a few components in it. And again, it's because passive infrared sensors require a lot of amplification and really weird amplification circuitry. So you can study that schematic, and it'll be available for everybody at engineeringshock.com. But if you want to buy the kit, I sincerely appreciate it. Anyhow, uh, I just wanted to show that off, just to give you a preview of a another kit, light sensor kit, and it's a continuity tester kit. Haven't uh, made videos for those ones yet, but the uh, the light sensor kit you can choose between. It has a relay on board. Uh, and you can control AC devices with it. You can choose to have the relay turn on in the dark or turn on in the light by wiring uh, up a customization, uh, a customizable uh, little rail here. Very easy to do. Continuity tester. It'll blink if it measures under 100 ohms and it'll uh, offer a little alarm if there's a dead short or less than 10 ohms. Anyhow, thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful night.